Okay, so now I'm going to start on this side and run the spline in. And I'm just going to start on the end here, and I'm just going to work it towards the other end of the screen. And it'll stay in that spline channel. So now I get my other piece of spline channel. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to set this in, and I'm going to use the rolling tool so it's on a 45 degree angle. And you just lightly compress that in. You don't try to run it in all at the same time. And I like to take these short little choppy strokes because it just works that spline into the spline channel. And then I can go back with the convex end of the rolling tool and I'll set that spline in. So right now I've done all three sides. Now I'm going to turn the screen to the fourth side. I'm going to do the same thing I did on the side over there. And I like to hold my hand on here just to keep the plastic so it pulls from the outside, not the inside. And you can see the angle that I'm putting. I don't have my tool like this. I have it leaned over. And I'm actually working that, that plastic in. I'm going to try starting here in the center on this one and going to the outside. The whole idea is to keep this from puckering. And if it starts to pucker like it did right here, if you just lift this up, and if you just cut off a little bit of this corner right here, because it was just a little bit too bulky, and then you can bring that back in place, Come back in with your rolling tool, and we got rid of that pucker that was there. So now I'm going to take the other piece of spline that I have, and I'm going to do the same thing I did before with the concave roller. I'm going to go in on an angle, and I'm just going to work that spline in. So this doesn't matter if this is a door or a large panel, the technique's still the same. And then with the convex in, I'm just going to run that spline all the way in, and that gets us our tension in the screen frame. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish off by cutting all of the, the loose pieces of the spline. And the technique that I have for cutting this glass scene is you keep your blade at about a 45 degree angle and keep it away from your finish side, it won't cut the finish side. So really we're pretty much done here. And I'm going to go ahead and trim the rest of it and then we'll be back.